Hi there, I am Casper from Skahoy and we are the go-to company for universal controllers for your cameras, your switchers, routers, audio, signal processors, mixers and so much more. And we pride ourselves in our deep integrations with devices and our cameras would be one of these devices. So we're bringing you unparalleled control over these cameras and the shooting environment around it. The RA cameras have been widely used in cinema industry. I guess you would know that. And a lot of great iconic movies, they have been shot on RA technologies for decades. And now the best picture quality is often desired in live productions as well with multi-camera systems. And that requires a bit of different approach to control because on a film set, the operator is next to the camera, but in a live production environment, he sits in a control room and he needs to control multiple cameras simultaneously. And for that, he needs a proper remote control solution that meets these demanding standards. And that would be our flagship RCP Pro. RCP Pro connects perfectly with the live versions of the Arri cameras. And that offers you seamless integration that enhances your creative freedom. And furthermore, we have developed a specific Arri configuration in the software reactor, which comes along with the RCP Pro. And that allows you to maximize the control over these amazing cameras. And what sets Skahoy apart is our modularity and the flexibility of our products. And we provide solutions that will scale up with your needs, allowing you to build large control surfaces by combining different panels. Plus, you can also adjust existing configurations and assign any parameter to any hardware component on the RCP. If you prefer to have another function on a specific rotary encoder here, then you can just do that. It's no problem and it's very intuitive in the reactor software. At this point, I suggest that we dive into some of these configurations I've just mentioned. But before we do that, let's look at the Ari Amira Live and the Alexa 35. These cameras, they are really a marvel in the world of cinema. And the Alexa 35 is a digital titan. It's actually merging the power of film with digital convenience. And it's delivering these stunning visuals and color accuracy that Ari is so well known for. On the other hand, you also have the Ari Amira Live, which is a versatile powerhouse, and it's perfect for broadcasting and documentary work. And it's robust, it's user-friendly, and it also delivers the high quality images you would only expect from Ari. And both these models, they represent Ari's commitment to that superior performance and craftsmanship, which is the reason why you would invest in these cameras. Now let's look at the RCP Pros. This one controls the Alexa 35 and this one controls the Amira camera. And the most iconic thing about the RCPs is the super nice fader joystick. And not only do you get this joystick, you also get the Skahoy version of it, which has probably the coolest RCP joystick on the market with a little display on top. And notice how cool this is. It's actually showing you the f-stops of your lens. Next to it, you see the master black value. And that's what we have developed to give you the perfect supplement to your Ari cameras. Now, with this joystick, you basically control the lens. So you can see on the picture from the Amira camera we are now adjusting that I'm adjusting the iris of the lens. Now, of course, you would also expect the ring of the joystick to adjust the master black. So here you can see the master black is adjusted. You see the values reflected in the display. And we also have it redundantly shown up here. So once again, you can see how this is possible to have any way you want and out of the box it comes in this way with the ring or this encoder adjusting the same value. We also have the joystick override. You can push the joystick and there's a tiny relay in the back of this one. So this is all a standard part of the RCP and a very important and iconic aspect of it. So that was the joystick and now we'll take a look at all the color parameters we can also adjust from the RCP and that happens by using the menu to navigate and then using these rotary encoders to adjust the values. If we look at the first page here, which is video level parameters, then we see those two pages are associated with video gamma, red, green, blue, and the master gamma. We have saturation as well. And if I turn this dial, we'll actually see the red gamma being adjusted. If I press the encoder, I can do it in larger steps and you can see how I'm able to adjust the amount of red gamma in the picture quite easily 
by turning this knob. And it's the same if I press this again and I go to the white and the blacks, we have the master black gamma here, we have knee up there on this encoder. We have, if we move on to the CDL, which is cinema decision list, we have gain and lift and we have gamma as well. So that's another dimension of these cameras. We also have ND filters and actually the ND filters in these cameras, they are automatic. So you can see that it's all motorized. So we have an ND filter coming onto the picture as you can see here and I can remove it again. Then we have audio. This is a more obscure thing for you to control on an RCP, but hey, you can do it. You can adjust the audio gain for your audio inputs on the camera if need be. You can also move on to the scene and the look files and I find that uh, uh, pretty interesting. So let's take a look at that because if we love this reddish look that we are currently having, we can store it. So if I press and hold this button up here, you'll see that it turns green for a brief moment and now we have saved a preset. So uh, could I have other looks? Yes, I have made some other obscure looks for this demonstration. So if I press this button, you'll see a different look of the camera. And if I go back and press button one, you see I'm restoring the reddish look that I just had. And then also before I made this demonstration, I stored a more neutral look. But these looks are actually stored in the camera. They have a file name. So I can basically go between these and select a look by pressing the encoder and it will be reinstalled again. So what you have just seen is the curated configuration we have made in collaboration with Ari to make this RCP Pro the perfect companion of your Ari camera live production. The most important thing about your RCP is the fact that it's a tactile control device. It has a joystick, it has knobs that you can feel with your fingers. Why is that important? Because you need to look at the screen where you see the output of your camera. But behind the scene, inside of the RCP Pro, there is a so powerful software engine. It does a few things, that is connect to the cameras and also connect the parameters of the cameras to the knobs on the RCP so you can control the camera. That's the thing that Reactor does and this is the web UI of Reactor, the so-called home screen. And this is what meets you for the basics that you wanna know about the RCP. You can see that it's connected to both the Alexa 35 and the Aria Mira. Both of these cameras are connected to the RCP. And also over here, it has a configuration. You can choose between a, a few different options, but the one you would pick for Ari would be the Ari official configuration. The one I've just showed you, which is the curated, the designed configuration we have made for you in collaboration with Ari to control these cameras. But let's say that I want to change the label of the RCP. That would be a very typical thing people want to do. So instead of cam one, you wanted to say Alexa 35. So. I would just type in Alexa 35, press enter, and immediately you see the label is updated on the display. You might also wonder what is this device index thing? And by the way, it's a bit unusual that I am connected to both cameras from this RCP. I mean, normally you would only set up the single camera that you care about adjusting. In this case, it gives us the flexibility that in a snap, we would be able to change that this camera, this RCP is not controlling the Alexa camera, but the Amira camera. So let's just pull the joystick and confirm that we are actually controlling the Alexa camera with the joystick. That's great. But if I go in here and I type in two and press enter, it actually means that immediately I have switched the RCP over to the Alexa camera here. And as I'm now pulling the handle, you see that I'm adjusting that reddish picture that I had from my experiments on the right RCP. So let's try to unbox the RCP Pro really. And that happens by going up here to manage projects. And you can see we have one project right now, which is the one that we are running on, but I want to create a new one. So it could basically be video project, whatever you call it. This would be your name to remember what is this project about. It could be your gig name or whatever. And we will then press yes a few times here. And then you see this, the RCP is blank. You see nothing and you need to do two things. I suggest the first thing you do is to connect to your device. So you basically go to the right side, you add device, and then I would go to discover devices because these cameras, they are possible to automatically find on the network. So we can search this list. You see there's a lot of devices popping up, but if I type in Ari, I filter the list and we see the Ari, Amira and the Alexa 35. So I would pick the Alexa 35. And by just pressing that button, going to the bottom of this little screen and then press save, I'm actually connected to the camera. So you see that over here, uh, verified by this green connected text. Second thing you need to do is to tell the RCP that you wanna run on the Ari Amira official configuration. 
Now, this step is necessary because you want to have a flexible RCP. And if there was no way for us to tell the RCP Pro to work with our mirror cameras, then it would just be a generic controller. But it is not generic in that sense. It is so specific because this configuration that you find for the Alexa 35 has been designed in collaboration with Ari to make sure that it matches perfectly all the features that make sense for this camera in a live production scenario. I also promised you to show how can we then adjust or customize the configuration. Now, on this RCP, I think this knob, which is usually used for Master Black, would be a great candidate for something else. So I would basically go into configuration. And now we are leaving the easy area. But what I wanted to show you is, if I just disable the game mode of the RCP Pro, I can click this one. And if I do that, you see that immediately it brings me to the place in the configuration where this is defined. And on my inspector side, you can see this is currently associated with a parameter on the Ari camera called master pedestal. And no surprise, that is what this encoder was supposed to do. By just looking inside this drop down, you see all the parameters of the camera that we can choose between. And it would be possible for me to just pick anything like, like blue gain. So let's just do that. We take blue gain here, pick it, and then we can submit it. And now it, it's also coming up with a recommendation for a certain behavior. That means how the encoder is going to work with the blue gain. And I'm going to accept that. And now you see both in the UI and also on the RCP, there's actually blue gain on this knob right now. So I can adjust that by turning the dial around if that's what I wanted. I can also undo if that's not what I wanted. I can pick another parameter if I desire so. So this is how you can customize your RCP with Reactor. In terms of camera control, we are not a one trick pony. The RCP Pro is amazing. This is a best selling product, but we also have other options for camera control. And one of them would be the Colorfly. It has been sitting all along next to the two RCPs. And actually the Colorfly and the RCPs, they work in parallel. Let me show you, if I pull these joysticks, you can see that I have some motorized faders on the Colorfly following along. And that's because these are also linked to the iris of the two Ari cameras. So this is a compact multi-camera controlled surface. I wanna show you how you can set up the Colorfly, but let me show you how the Colorfly can be set up. We already have it set up right here, but once again, I just wanna show you quickly how could we do this from scratch. So let's make a little experiment here. Now, again, video project, and we add it and we confirm and we have a new blank project. First thing I want to do quickly, just search for my IRA cameras over here on the network, see if I can find them in auto discovery. We find that the Alexa 35 is here. So let's just pick this one and there we go. We save and then we, um, sorry, not manage projects, but we add another device and we will come in here and then we'll find the Aria mirror. And there we go, the Amira camera, and then we save. So now we have two cameras connected, super quick. And the next thing we'll do is, actually, when we set up a new project with the Colorfly, most of the time, Reactor will give you the most likely configuration file that you wanna use. And for the Colorfly, that would be the standard generic camera control profile. And with this one, you would basically just go in here, press add to add a camera. And then you can, from this list, already included devices that we have connected to you. Just pick this one. So now we have the Alexa 35. Hmm? Yeah, yes, it is here. So you can see, I can pick it over here for all the settings that I might want to control up here. And I have also the fader control of the iris. So if I click here next to, I will just select the Amira camera as well. So now I have the Alexa and the Amira cameras next to each other. And I'm able to adjust the lens of the one camera and the lens of the other camera. I can pick between them on this camera selector. And by doing that, I get access to all the same settings I had on the RCP, but just up here in a more or less similar menu. So you fall into a more generic approach by our controllers, while over here you have a curated design by Ari configuration for the RCP pros. One of the points of the Colorfly is that the ease by which you can add cameras, as you just saw, can be done for any camera that you can connect to Reactor. It can be PDC cameras, other studio cameras, POV cameras. They just drop straight into this camera selector and land on a 
physical fader on the Colorfly. So you see there's a little bit of difference between the panels that we have and it's up to you to pick which one fits your workflow. What you have seen today is just a glimpse into what we offer here at Skahoy. Whether it is our cameras or any other device that you need to control, this is how it works. And remember to join our social media platforms because then you can follow the news that we have on Instagram, on Facebook, LinkedIn, or you can also sign up for our newsletter to follow along in our technology developments.